Everybody, welcome to a special edition of MagicReview.com. Today we are making history for the first time ever in Magic Reviewed history. I am changing the star status on a product. I'm changing what I'm review what the final review is on a product. <clears throat> Here's why: I was mistaken about some information. That's what it comes down to. So the short version is this: um, the the product is the floating ball by Essential Magic Collections slash Luis Tomatos. I gave it 2.5 star stone status of Grubel. Um, that was a mistake. And the reason I gave it such a bad rating, um, I, I want to tell you all the good things about it first, but let me just give you the get that out of the way. Why did I give it a bad rating? Mainly because I felt there was a big piece of important information missing from the advertisement copy. That's what it came down to. Uh, it turned out that big piece of information was not missing. It was missing from the ad copy on Murphy's website, but it was not missing on the floating ball or on the Essential Magic Collections website. And that piece of information was um, what you get with the floating ball is uh, Luis D'Amato's routine, and you get the thread that he uses. And that's, I'm not tipping anything, it says it right on the ad copy that you get the thread. What you don't get is the case that the ball comes in, you don't get the ball. You don't get the, the little hook things that you need to hook it up. You don't get any of that. And if you saw the trailer in the demo, you would very easily could assume that you would get those things. And it doesn't talk about those at all in the ad copy that was on Murphy's website. However, on the Essential Magic Collection website, it's very clear that you're buying his routine. And he's, it's almost like he's kind of just throwing the thread in as a bonus. But what you're buying is his routine. You're not buying a floating ball. You're not buying the props. And he even says on the site, if you want to use the same stuff I used, here's a link to go buy it right here on my site. And it's like, you know, it's about 12 or 1300 bucks to buy all that stuff. So because of the fact that that, or because I thought that that stuff was not covered in the ad copy, the ad copy felt a little bit, um, I hate to use the word dishonest, but it kind of felt like that. And I felt, I just felt like that, that there was some important stuff missing. I was wrong. I, I was absolutely wrong. That is stuff, the stuff that I felt was missing was totally covered in the ad copy on Essential Magic Collections website. So that being said, first of all, that should tell you how important ad copy is to me. That's why I gave it a 2.5 star status. The, as far as the product itself goes, I had absolutely no issues at all with the product. And if you saw the previous review, which I may or may not leave up, I haven't decided yet. But if you saw the previous review, you'll see that even at the very last second, I was just kind of hemming and hawing, and I was not sure, should I give it the two and a half stars or not? And, and should I give it a better rating? And I always just kind of go with my gut on those things when I'm torn, and my gut said to keep it at that two and a half stars. Again, my gut was wrong. My gut was really probably telling me that it needed a sandwich or something, I don't know. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Having said all that, the new official rating for this product is five stars. Stone stats, total gem. Let me tell you why, okay? Again, leaving that ad copy blunder out of it, the, the ad copy blunder on my part, not their part, leaving that out of the mix, what you get on this DVD is incredible. You get the actual routine, and I, everything I'm about to tell you, I said this all in the other video, so it's not like I'm just suddenly changing my mind about what's on the video and what I liked about it or whatever. None of that is, it's the same. Everything's the same. But I'm just going to reiterate what you get. You get Luis D'Amatos' professional routine that he uses. Okay. First of all, it's a one-man hookup. Okay. There's no people backstage assisting you or whatever. With the DVD, you get the, the particular thread that he uses. You can also buy more of that on the website. And you also get the little thing that you need to allow yourself to be hooked up to the, the rig or whatever. Now, here's the thing. It's a one-man deal, and if, if you're doing a show where you're doing the whole, like the whole evening is yours, you're doing it, your hour-long show or whatever, that's one thing. But if you're doing a variety show where you're just one act in the middle of several other acts, you can't exactly leave your stage wired up, right? So, in order, to, the way this thing's set up, you go in before the gig, you go measure everything out, you set it up, and then the way he has you set it up you can actually disconnect it without losing the dimensions and the measurement and the setup that you need. And then you can just set the little thing off stage 
and then when it's time for you to come on, the MC's out there introducing you or whatever, it's literally a two, you know, 20, 30 second hookup to get back to that position that you spent, you know, maybe an hour or two before the gig started. So it's a pretty sweet system. It's very, very clever. But putting aside the simplicity and the cleverness of the hookup, uh, of, you know, setting it up on stage, the actual hookup and the manipulation of the ball itself is amazing. Okay, watch the trailer. There's crazy stuff like, you know, Luis Tomatos is standing still and the ball's moving all over the place. Or Luis Tomatos is moving around the stage and the ball's not moving. Or he stands there and the ball floats down and rolls across the floor then floats back up to him. Uh, you know, I mean, it's there's one that's just killer where the ball floats out. Imagine like a loop-de-loop -loop on a roller coaster. It floats out in front of you towards the audience. I mean, it doesn't go out over them, but it's still on stage. But towards the audience, there's a 360 and comes back to you. The stuff that you can do with this hookup is incredible. And it's amazing. And you'd never believe, A, that it's a one-man deal. And B, you just can't imagine that he's actually hooked up to it somehow. It's just killer. Okay, now on top of that, you get the Essential Magic Collections people, which which are the, the you know the company, the production company, who are excellent at producing magic videos, and they go into depth and into detail into teaching everything. And so, Luis Dematos has made a little mini stage, a little scale model of the stage that has the hookup on there, so you can see everything, and he shows you how to manipulate everything. I mean, it's just everything you can think of that went to go into the depth of teaching his routine is there so look at it from this perspective for 40 bucks you're buying his routine you're the, a professional magician who has been doing the floating ball this particular way for however long he you give him 40 bucks and he gives you his routine that's a screaming deal guys okay <clears throat> again the problem I had in the past was because of what I thought was missing from the ad copy I felt that that, that it, it seemed like they were they were slightly you know, leading you down a path that basically was a way to sort of get you started by oh, here's $40 uh, to read this and to find out the or to watch this to find out you have to spend 1200 more or whatever and for even thinking that I apologize Luis Tomatos if you're watching I apologize I, I never meant to um, criticize or assume that you were being dishonest I just felt the ad copy was missing that and by the way just so you know Nobody has come to me, uh, you know, from Essential Magic or whatever, or Murphy's or anybody saying, hey, you need to change the rating, or you didn't give that a fair shake, or, or whatever. It's not, not it's nothing like that. Uh, there were a few people that posted comments on my review that disagreed with me, uh, but I stood by my, stood my ground and gave the rating that I did based on what I thought was the problem with the ad copy. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Uh, but now that I know the truth about the ad copy, I'm, I'm done a 180 here. So um, don't start making waffle jokes. Okay, <laughs> sorry for you political people out there. Uh, anyway, so I'm just letting you know, this is not, nobody's pressuring me to do this. I'm doing this because I'm trying to keep my integrity as a reviewer. I review products based on the honesty of the ad copy and the legitimacy of the method. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I don't care what the effect is. I will never, ever in my life do card warp never I don't like it I think it's a dumb trick but I gave the card warp book like a four or five star rating because of it, the method and the things taught in the book I will never ever do floating ball ever I don't do stage stuff and I just don't see a future where I'll do stage shows but the method is what I'm giving the rating to so when you consider that I do I care about the method and the ad copy integrity those two things the method in the first review of this review, every review or whatever, I've always felt was totally solid. Absolutely. If you watch the other video, you'll see that. The other thing that I care about is ad copy integrity. And I had a problem there. And so now that that problem's been resolved, that I've realized that I made a mistake, I, there, I have nothing bad to say about this product. Um, on top of everything I've already said, there is uh, a whole section where Luis Tomato sits down, I think it's with Gaetan Bloom, and they talk about sort of the history of the floating ball and they talk about all the the different uh, magicians who have done it and all this kind of stuff uh, they even talk about a little bit just not not a lot of detail but they talk about how you could make your own paper ball and I think uh, Luis Tomatos even tells a story of when he made one uh, out of paper mache but if you if you're gonna um, make one then that's fine or if you want to buy one you can buy it from his site 
So <clears throat> all that being said, if you already do the floating ball, then you already have everything you need. The question is, do you, is this routine better than yours? I, without even knowing your routine, I'm going to gamble and say, yes, this routine is better. This method is better. This technique is better. The things you can do with this hookup is better, are better. <clears throat> now, I don't know. There's probably somebody out there that's got a better routine that's going to be mad at me for saying that. But you get my point. If you already do the floating ball, it's worth the 40 bucks just to check out this method. And then go, yep, I love it, I'm going to do it. Or go, no, I like mine better, and it's fine, and you only invested $40. If you're considering doing the floating ball, but you're not sure if you want to invest in it, and if you you know you want to buy the $1,200 ball and and case and everything, but you're not sure if you're gonna like the routine or if you found a method you like, spend the 40 bucks on this DVD and learn the method on there, and and then you'll you'll know, understand how it works, and then you'll be able to decide, yeah, I want to do that on my show. If you're just considering the floating ball at all, this is worth the investment. 40 bucks to find out if you want to do this particular method. And again, I'm not an illusionist. I don't do this type of magic normally. Um, but if I were to do a floating ball, this is the method I would use, definitely. So if you're looking for a floating ball method, this is a great method. If you're looking to buy a floating ball and to have all the props needed, that's not on this DVD. It never claims that it did, even though I mistakenly misunderstood that in the past. It doesn't claim that it, the, that it comes with any of that stuff. It simply comes with the thread and the thing you need to hook yourself to the thread, and that's it. Everything else can be bought, uh, some of it can be bought at a hardware store, or it can be bought at Luis Tomatos uh, or at the Essential Magic Collection site. So, I've rambled on long enough. Bottom line, <clears throat> I care about two things when I review product, ad copy and method. That's it. If the ad copy is not solid, then it's a big hit on the product. If the method is not good or solid or workable or doer, doable, it's a big hit. The method on this has always been great. The ad copy has always been great. I just thought it wasn't. Hence the bump from 2.5 of stone status of Grubble to 5 stars stone status of Gem. Any questions, shoot me an email. If you think I've you know, uh, sold my soul or whatever, I don't know. I'm just telling you, I'm trying to keep my integrity as a reviewer and review these things honestly and openly. So, feel free to debate it on the review site. I'm probably just going to modify the written text that's there, maybe a little footnote with the edit, and then I'm just going to swap out the YouTube videos, and that'll be that. So, because we got a new video, we got a new random iTunes song at the moment, and today it's going to be The Day That Never Comes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Let me just write that down. This is a killer song, by the way. This is Metallica from their Death Magnetic album. Um, you know, uh, Metallica, I'm a huge fan. If you watched one of my videos, you know that. Uh, and they, you know, they, their first album was great. Their second album was better. Their third album was as good as or better than their second album. Fourth album was really good. Fifth album I really liked. A lot of people didn't like it because they felt they sold out. Uh, the next two albums were really good, but not as good as some of the earlier days. Uh, and then um, the St. Hager album came out, and a lot of fans were ticked off about that album. I actually liked a lot of stuff on that album. Um, I don't own that. It's probably, I think it's the only Metallica album I don't own. But I do like that. I, that'll probably be my next purchase. Um, but then after that comes Death Magnetic, and that, oh man, it's like back to the old days, man. They're just, it's a great album. Uh, it, this is... Technically, while I'm filming this, it's during book week, and I just filmed like nine book reviews, and uh, during there, I kept getting Iron Maiden and Taylor Swift as a random iTunes song, and I, in two or three different videos, I mentioned the fact that my number one um, the number of songs that I have the most of on my playlist is Metallica, yet I hardly ever get a Metallica uh, tune, and so today, I finally got one. It's the first time for a while. And it just happened to be that I'm doing this re-review of this particular video. So had I not done the re-review, I would not have had Metallica this week. So thank you, Floating Ball, and my stupidity and misreviewing it the first time. That's it for me, guys. Uh, that's the wrong peace hand. This is the peace hand. See you on the next review. Peace and out. <laughs>